So, Catherine Pugh, former mayor of Baltimore, she may actually have her sentence reduced. So, she caught a break from the judge in this sentence anyway. So, the whole nation has talked about it. And when I read some of the headlines that they say about you know, book scam and fraud, uh, book debacle, all of which are true, but uh, uh, the three years that she got is under the sentencing guidelines, which are not mandatory. These crimes that she committed as a public official. Once she starts serving her pr prison sentence in April, she could benefit from a new law. Catherine Pugh, former mayor of Baltimore, is about to turn 70 years old. Her age actually may work in her favor because 70 years old, you know, somebody somebody of a certain age like that, it may reduce the amount of the sentence that she actually serves in prison. So, her lawyers believe that she qualifies for a new program that allows older, non-violent inmates to spend the last third of their sentence on home detention. So, uh, Pew will have a chance to collect good time credit, 154 days, and um, that could further reduce the prison sentence that she serves to about 18 months. Could Catherine Pew do 18 months? You're damn right she could. If she, I mean, she was going to do three years. Could she do 18 months? I think she could. A year, could she do a year and a half? She better do a year and a half if, if that's a possibility. Um, and that could explain why she's so chill and relaxed after the, um, you know, the sentencing. She initially, they were, her defense was trying to hope that she got a year. So she could actually do a year and a half when you're facing twice that. I think that's not that bad. And she's on home monitor. It's not like she's going to be able to just be going out to Melba's or something. But she'll be on home monitor, which I'm sure is a lot better. I also think, don't, and you call me crazy if you want, but I think based on her statements that Catherine Pugh is planning a comeback. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Catherine Pugh is planning a comeback. Listen to her statements. She said, I look forward to rebuilding my life and getting myself back together. What does that mean? Rebuilding her life and getting herself back together. She also said other things that lead me to believe that she wants to redeem herself. Is that possible? Marion Barry, mayor of D.C., he smoked crack. He said his famous lines. This bitch set me up, right? And he became the mayor again and again more than once. Now, of course, Catherine Pugh is no Marion Barry, but I'm just saying other white politicians have made comebacks after serving prison sentences for white collar crimes. So it's it's possible. It's definitely possible. When asked if the U.S. attorney Robert Hur was done with this case, he said that we're going to follow the facts wherever they lead without fear or favor. So that means this is still investigating. Is it going to point to anybody else? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. One loose end in the Pew case involves Gary Brown, who was a longtime aide to Pew and helped her carry out this healthy Holly scam. Um, he's yet to be sentenced. Pew suggested on Thursday that part of her trouble stemmed from surrounding herself with the wrong people. That is true. That is definitely true. Uh, so she says that I have learned the lesson of how you make sure that what you intend to do, you get done and that you surround yourself with people who don't want to serve you, but get the job done. So very interesting. Others that were... Uh, tarnished by a Pew's case in, in includes uh, city controller Joan Pratt. She co-owned a business with Pew and uh, filed a false tax return after Pew used it to hide cash. Uh, Prone has said she didn't know nothing. Ain't nobody told her nothing. She said she ain't know nothing. So uh, she said, I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. I was deceived. You know, and, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, also, J.P. Grant was named by prosecutors as knowing the money he gave to Pew for her book illegally flowed to her campaign. He was not charged. He continues to hold one of the city's most lucrative contracts. Interesting. 
uh, in the middle of a mayoral election, of course, candidates are using the uh, exploits of Kathy Pugh to their benefit. Mayor Jack Young's TV campaign starts with a, a corruption theme. Jack Young claims that he took over to clean up the Pew scandal. Now, of course, people remember when he first was coming in. He, I, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm just here for this. I, I won't get back to doing my job. Blah, blah, blah. Now he's singing a different song. Other candidates also running uh, with an accountability theme, including the city council president. I mean, I'm sorry to laugh, but I mean, he's such a joke. Uh, Brandon Scott. TJ Smith uh, is promising um, to bring in a, a new a, a new era of ethics, which I believe. Mary Miller is promising to uh, end pay to play politics. Uh, she also uh, worked with President Obama, as she reminds us every time she steps in front of a camera or microphone. And through Vignaraja is pleading, uh, pledging, I'm sorry, <laughs> to require city officials disclose more of their finances. So a lot of these candidates are trying to obviously uh, address the elephant in the room, the last elected official for the, uh, you know, the office that they're running for uh, ended their campaign in, in a uh, corrupt, you know, fashion. So they're trying to address that. Very interesting. And, um, Something that, you know, it's going to be something that comes up uh, as the campaigns mellow and and uh, push on. 